uh, one of the things officers are trained to do is to give warnings. If someone has done something wrong, but not rising to a criminal level, it's perfectly appropriate for an NYPD officer to talk to them to say, that was not appropriate, and if you did that on a higher level, that would be a crime, and I think that has a educating impact on people. I think it has a sobering impact that we need. Bill de Blasio is the worst mayor in America. Absolutely. In every single way, yes. this man is a cartoon villain of what it means to be an inept <laughs> and evil he is. with the worst policies with the worst policies. And I want to tell you a little bit about the most recent thing he said about the NYPD basically stopping people who haven't committed crimes, but who have said hurtful things. And we're going to roll the clip right now. Uh, I also think even if something is not a criminal case, um, a perpetrator being confronted by the city, whether it's NYPD or another agency, and, and being told that what they've done was very hurtful to another person, and, and could, if ever repeated, uh, lead to criminal charges, that's another important piece of the puzzle. That's why we need these reports. Uh, one of the things officers are trained to do is to give warnings. If someone has done something wrong, but not rising to a criminal level, it's perfectly appropriate for an NYPD officer to talk to them to say, that was not appropriate, and if you did that on a higher level, that would be a crime, and I think that has a educating impact on people. I think it has a sobering impact that we need. That's why we need every report. By the way, if something might be a crime, if it's not 100% clear, the NYPD is going to investigate. I assure you, if an NYPD officer calls you or shows up at your door to ask about something you did, that makes people think twice, and we need that. I can't oh overemphasize goodness. enough how terrible of an idea this is from this absolute joker clown okay <laughs> oh he God. is basically saying this here's this guy he's a progressive he's supposed to be pro criminal justice reform pro police reform pro all this stuff he's saying let's use the new york city police department to catch people when they are saying mean things didn't he defund the police he in new did. york too he did defund the police <laughs> You have this city, New York City, right? My former hometown, I grew up there, born and raised in Brooklyn, Mets fan my entire life. And he is saying, you know, the police have had, he is not giving the police the tools they need to deal with the actual violent crime problem, the murders, all of these horrible things, random people walking up to, you know, old women and just either hitting them or taking their purses or whatever. I'm not exaggerating, by the way, that's happening in New York. He's saying, you know, instead of this violent crime and dealing with this, let's use the vast resources of the New York City Police Department to stop people who are being mean to others. I hate this. This is awful. I want to draw a little bit on what I thought were some really good pieces that summed up why this is a terrible idea. From the Western Journal, from contributor Kip Jones, he wrote, in, and I quote, to suggest that adults should be admonished by police over non-criminal behavior might be the most preposterous idea proposed in New York since Seinfeld character Elaine Benz, Benes, I don't know her last name, suggested to an advisor to then Mayor David Dinkins' office that all New Yorkers wear, n wear name tags. That's absolutely <laughs> true. I also want to cite my former colleague, Rob Robbie Suave, at Reason, who wrote, and I think this is the most important point, you know, all jokes aside, this is why this is a bad idea. He said... It is thus a very bad idea for the NYPD to go around sternly lecturing people who may have engaged in hateful conduct that is not actually illegal. For one thing, this straightforwardly violates people's civil liberties. Unless you're committing a crime, your actions are no business to the government. That is absolutely right. This is stop and frisk, an unconstitutional um, policy, in my opinion. This is stop and frisk on steroids. This is awful, awful, awful. What are you guys' thoughts on it? Well, there's, it's not even like these people are suspected of a crime. No, they said bad, they said not nice yeah, things. There's no like, reasonable doubt that, that something happened. There's nothing. It's just protecting essentially big babies who can't handle something mean being said. Mm -hmm. And it's New York. You know, you grew up there. Yeah, you know, people, there's people, there's some people that aren't nice. Yeah, right? that's New it's York. Just, it's just the style. That's like, the world. That's, that's the world. Happens. Yeah. You can't just protect people because protect people that don't like other people that say something mean. That's stupid. 
And what if that extends to something like political speech? You know, yeah, exactly. What if someone has a, a Trump sign or, you know, yeah. who knows, a, a Donald Trump Jr. sign or whatever it is. Oh, you see a yard. Trump sign as hateful conduct? Yes. You know, maybe you get a talking to from the police. Yeah, I think it's knock on your door. very dangerous. I think that, um, you know, police have a job to serve in American society. But when you get police involved in conduct, in, you know, encounters that they don't really have any business being involved in, that wastes their time for one thing. And it also can lead to you know, situations that aren't the best. What are your thoughts on this, Cameron? You know, I try not to take my moral cues from New York government officials. And I <laughs> yeah. think if you do, you probably have a serious problem with that. And if he made saying mean things illegal, I'd probably be, we'd all probably be doing three to five years right now. Mm -hmm, but I think the issue with this is that he's trying to set a precedent that obviously is unenforceable um, there's no way something like this could actually happen if he e if he even put out some sort of law or order um, to make mean speech illegal. Um, it would it wouldn't work, um, regardless of what people say. There's no way you can control that. Um, I think this is another one of those kind of virtue signaling incidents where the Democrats see a situation and they're like, "Hey, we have to say this thing now to make it look like we care." And unfortunately, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing this lack of authenticity and it comes with another unrealistic proposal. <laughs>